make a video. Uh, you know, we're getting so many emails throughout the show that we can't always get to all of them throughout the show. So I thought, well, why don't we put together a video that we can answer a lot of your questions that are coming in via email. You can see the email address right here on the bottom of the screen. So anytime, just email me questions that you have. Um, can be anything. I mean, literally anything, and you'll find out more about that today when we get to some of your emails, even from today throughout the show. The first one is this. We had a bunch of great guests on the show today, and one of them was Minnesota State Representative Rick Hansen. Now, Rick has got this idea, as many of you know, there's 1,300 former American Crystal Sugar workers that are out of work right now. They're locked out. I thought, well, hey, you know what? Let me propose a bill. And I'm not, I'm not making this up. This is a real bill that might hit the floor in Minnesota. So keep that in mind as I set this up. He came up with an idea that, hey, you know what? In order to help these American Crystal Sugar Workers get back to work, hey, I'll propose a bill that Minnesota will no longer buy American Crystal Sugar products. <laughs> I know, that, that's exactly what I thought. So I got a bunch of emails that came in. We had a bunch of phone calls as well. One of them was like, this is from Aaron. Aaron says, what, this guy worked for the Gambino family in the past? I mean, this sounds like it's completely thuggish and unfortunately legal. So, uh, you know, during the show, Rick just said, hey, you know what? Uh, forget about it. You know, forget about it. This is how we do this thing in Minnesota. So forget about it. We're going into Chicago style politics, you know? Forget about it. But Aaron, thanks for the email. Also, Paul, I thought this was great. Paul says, this guy makes you want to go buy loads of crystal sugar in support. So there you go. That's what I think we all should do. Say, you know what? Minnesota is going to stop buying crystal sugar. Let's all go and support the company. That way, maybe they'll have even more higher profits. And then the former union workers can get back to work. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. Go to the grocery store in Moorhead right now to fill up a cartload. Paul, thank you very much. Way to go. Also, does the guest dislike any other private companies in Minnesota? Just a question to determine who his, may, his next target may be. You know, I think just the Minnesota Vikings. I think other than that, uh, the Vikings and American Crystal Sugar. Other than those two, I think he's, you know, pretty cool with most companies uh, in Minnesota. Also, another question I'll get to you in a moment out of Bismarck that happened at the North Dakota Democrat Convention over the weekend. We had uh, Representative Paul Marquardt, on, uh, talk, Paul Marquardt on as well, talking about voter ID in Minnesota. That actually might hit the ballot, I, I believe, in November. And, you know, we were talking about Paul thinks it's, it's a right. You know, it's a right to vote, obviously, in the state of America. Why would you need to vote uh, an ID to go do that? So, well, wait a second, Paul. You also, it's a Second Amendment right to own guns. But if I'm going to go buy a gun, I've got to have an ID, right? He said, whoa, yeah, you know. So, Jason... Uh, who's from Minnesota originally, because Paul kept referring to the United States of America as a democracy, which most people do these days. But keep in mind, it's really a constitutional republic. Jason says, and Paul, we live in a constitutional republic. Please get your facts straight. You're representing intelligent people out of Minnesota. I'm not an idiot. Thank you very much for your representation. So, Jason, thanks for that email. And then also uh, from this weekend, this is from... Brent out of Bismarck. As many of you know, former President Bill Clinton was at the North Dakota Democrat Convention. And uh, Brent says, uh, hey, did uh, Billy hit on you up there in uh, Grand Forks, Chris? Well, typically he wouldn't, Brent, but I was wearing, you know, those that new line out right now uh, called Dresses by Dickies. I had my new black Dresses by Dickies dress on, and so Billy was, uh, you know, all up in my grill, and I told him, you know, no, I'm not going to have it, Bill. I'm, I'm not falling for it, Bill, like little Monica did. <laughs> so those are some of the emails that we got in the show. Anything else you want to ask me, let me know. We'll get you the answers, the facts, the truth, and have a good time doing it. Just email me here at talk at chrisbergshow.com. We'll talk again in our next mailbag video.